This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined here at the weigh-in uh, for Cyrus Pattinson versus Chris Jenkins with Sammy Joe Luxton. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, just firstly, Maisie Rose Courtney, I know a friend of yours fighting on this bill. She had her first fight on the Katie Taylor undercard, ended up being co-main event when she was expected to be float. Um, just how buzzing are you for her and the progression that she's making in the professional boxing game so far? I actually can't wait to watch. Like You know when you see things on Instagram and it really catches your eye? Like Even from the past couple of weeks, you've seen her level up and level up and I just can't wait for her to perform because I know she's just she's going to shock everybody again and people are going to really know her name. Is it nice being a young female in sport and having people like Maisie that you can sort of bounce back off? Obviously, combat sports for women is something that's developing and certainly we're seeing the, um, from a grassroots level it's growing and growing. But being able to have Maisie and just being able to text her back and forth, both doing similar things, that must be good. Yeah, it's, it's really nice to just to have the girls in the combat sports because um, we all go through the same things and it, like now the females are starting to come up with the men so it, it's a nice feeling that we can all be there together and then just push each other let's talk pfl newcastle um i think you're doing a few promo bits tonight and then you'll be back up next week just how excited are you seeing that you've signed that deal off and uh, a bright future on the zone yeah i'm really excited for it um and especially looking for this weekend so i'm not fighting on the newcastle show um but i am looking forward to uh, just getting the atmosphere and feeling that buzz because I'm sure like after I watch everything I'll be raring to go. Is MMA your expertise? I know that you fought on the Floyd Mayweather undercard that is something that we'll go into but yeah sort of what is your specialist sport? So I started in Muay Thai so I trained that from 11 years old so I've done that 12 years now and um, I made the move to MMA this year um, and in the midst of it I ended up doing a boxing fight um, I was doing boxing training just to help with my Muay Thai um, ended up taking a boxing fight and then won that so <laughs> I'm doing a little bit of everything. Let's talk about fighting on the Floyd Mayweather undercard. Um, he fought Aaron Chalmers in what was a spectacle at the O2. Um, just that whole week for you, I imagine a bit of a nuts experience being able to fight on an undercard of an all-time great. Yeah, when they told me, it was sort of like I didn't believe them and then everything started piecing together, all the media stuff started coming out and I've never done a press conference or like an open weigh-in. So to experience that, it, that was crazy, especially with like all the buzz around Floyd. Um, and just to say that I've shared the ring with Floyd Mayweather, that's crazy in itself. Um, let's talk sort of in terms of marketing and social media. I've seen you on Twitter, you've got a big following on there. Um, OnlyFans is something that we're seeing Ebony Bridges in the boxing side and more and more professional boxers are going into. Um, what was it that made you start it and do you believe it's almost a niche that you can use to keep growing your own sort of combat sports like personality as a fighter? Yeah, so I've started pushing my social media and um, I usually reply to all my messages. Like I love connecting with people who are asking questions, but um, as I'm growing as a fighter and as a personality, and um, it, I couldn't reply to all of them, so to create an OnlyFans, it was just the space where I could connect with like the true fans who like were really like wanting to help me push, because all of the like proceeds that I get from that, I'm putting into my fighting, so they're technically helping my fight career. So I've now been able to get a place in Manchester, closer to the gym, um, helping with my meal preps, my strength and conditioning. So like I'm about to level up with the help from my fans. Sammy, finally from me, when we do see you fight on PFL, what can we expect? What style are you going to bring us in the cave? I've been working on my ground game, so who knows whether I'll go for the ground. Sammy Top, and thank you for speaking to us at Boxing Social.